All right. Uh, basically, this was my strong hive. I hope that I hope you can see. But anyway, this is this is my strong hive, and uh, I want I want to see how crowded they are, and if they're pretty crowded, I'm gonna go ahead and put this super on the honey super for when the main flow comes, which is my apple blossom and things like that. So let's just take a quick peek here, see how. Ooh. Oh man, wow. Let's take a look here. Oh man, look at here guys, this is unbelievable. Let me skim a little smoke. I don't want them to get too mad at me here. Uh, they, they say smoke calms them down. I don't believe that, I've never asked to be. If it made him calm, it never calmed me down. I would say, I would say, oh my God, look at that. That what it does more than anything is confuses them. All right, so basically what I've got here, guys, is I have got, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, mercy me. Oh, they're a little bit mad at me. But anyway, we're going to put the queen excluder on here. Okay, and what that's going to do is that's going to keep the queen from coming up into my honey super. <clears throat> As you saw earlier, I made five, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I made ten frames of, uh, ten frames. Okay, and Bees like to be together, clustered, but they don't like to be crowded. And what you're trying to prevent is swarming. When bees feel crowded, it triggers them to start making swarm cells, which is a queen. Look at here. Look at this. I mean, this when they're on the top board like this, it's just it's too crowded. It's too full. So we did the right thing. So anyway, let's put this back on. And basically, we're all set. Um, but looky here, I mean, they were, they were even on the, uh, okay, we're gonna put that back on. This hive is so strong, I'll probably have to I, I'm sure I can get at least two supers of honey out of this. Okay, that's it for this hive. Let's, let's go look at the other one.